Hey, what's up? Now, I want to talk about something that's very different today. Something that we all love, yet we can't seem to get enough of. I want to talk about sleep. So first of all, if you're like, Sean, why are you making a video on sleep? Well, for those of you who don't know, I actually teach a time management course. Links for all that will be down in the description. But one, who doesn't love more free time? And two, who doesn't love being more productive? That's essentially what the time management course is all about. I'm all about productivity and efficiency and doing all that kind of stuff, managing your time effectively. And if you guys didn't know, you spend a third of your time sleeping. So we gotta manage that sucker effectively, you know what I mean? But again, if you want more information on that time management stuff, check the description. If you're new around here, consider smacking that subscribe button and checking out all the other videos I have on this channel. But let's talk about sleep and how much do we actually need a night? Okay, so everyone is always like, hey, you need to get your eight hours of sleep, eight hours of sleep, eight hours of sleep, eight hours of sleep. Or if you're Arnold Schwarzenegger, he's just like, sleep faster. The day is 24 hours and we sleep six. Now I know there's some out there that say, whoa, 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 I need eight. But I say, just sleep a little faster. How many hours of sleep do we actually need? You've got those people who sleep for six hours and wake up and say, oh, that's all I need. I only need six hours after they pound six cups of coffee, a five hour energy and drink a monster energy drink. You might want to get that checked out. Or even got the uh, high schoolers who sleep in for like 10 plus hours a day. I mean, which one is it? What is the balance? How many hours of sleep do we act? No, let me rephrase that. Based off science, how many hours of sleep do we actually need a night? And before I actually tell you what the golden number is, actually, you know what? I'll tell you right now. There is no golden number for how many hours of sleep you need. And I'll get to that in just a little bit. But before I talk about what the range is and what you specifically need to be getting every single night, you need to understand what a circadian rhythm is. So what's a circadian rhythm? It sounds a little intense and uh, complicated. Well, it's really not. It's just a fancy term for your internal clock. So if you can effectively and properly align your circadian rhythm with your schedule, you're basically going to be like Bradley Cooper in Limitless. Now nah, I'm just messing around, but seriously, you're going to feel amazing every single time you wake up if you can do that perfectly. How do we do that? Well, it's a little bit tough. Now, what does a proper circadian rhythm look like when it's aligned to your schedule? Well, essentially when you're sleeping, your sleep waves go from big to small. When they're big waves, that means you're in very deep sleep. When they're small waves, that means you're in relatively light sleep. So when your alarm goes off, when you're in very deep sleep and your sleep waves are very large, that's no bueno. That's when you wake up feeling like poo poo. But vice versa, when you wake up when your sleep waves are small, that's when you feel like, wow, I feel like I got a ton of sleep last night and I'm rested and I'm ready to go. So again, it's tough to effectively manage that. There's like apps and other little gadgets you can try to align your circadian rhythm with perfectly. It's a little tough. I've tried it, but I don't want this video to be mainly about the circadian rhythm. That's for another video. Let's get back on track to actually how many hours of sleep do you need every single night to actually feel amazing. So bam, here's your graphic to get a good gauge on how much sleep you actually need. Now in this study, it was discovered that during you know the development stages of your life, you need way more sleep to recover and recuperate. And that's because your body is taking necessary nutrients to not only allow your body to function, but to grow. You don't just grow magically. Your body needs those nutrients and those precious, precious hours of sleep to actually grow. So in simpler terms, the younger you are, the more sleep you need, and the older you are, the less sleep you need. And I wanna say that graphic gives you ranges of how many hours of sleep you need a night because every person is different. There is no golden amount of sleep. There's no golden set of hours, minutes, seconds. Everyone is different. For example, if you've got dude A, who's a 15 year old and plays soccer for five hours a day. And then you got dude B, who's also a 15 year old, but only watches TV all day. I mean, who do you think is gonna need more sleep? Dude A is out there grinding his butt off, going through so many nutrients on his body that his body needs that necessary sleep to actually keep growing. And so his body doesn't just crumble and fail on it. I also think it's funny to note that you need so much less sleep when you're older, because not only is your body not growing anymore because it's deteriorating, but you're not playing five hours of soccer or working out five hours a day. You're an older person who doesn't necessarily move around as much, so you don't use as much energy. But lastly, look at ages 18 onwards. You don't always need a full eight hours to feel rested and productive. 
Sometimes it's just all mental. We think since we didn't get our eight hours of sleep, we only got seven, we aren't ready to absolutely crush the day because, oh man, I set my alarm and it said only seven hours. Those kind of things are all mental and usually is the bane to our productivity. So I always hate hearing, hey, get your eight hours of sleep tonight because you really, depending on your day, you might not have needed all eight of those hours. You might only need seven, you might only need seven and a half. And that could be an extra hour a day you have for productivity. If that happened 365 days a year, you're gonna have an extra 365 hours of free time. That's basically nine weeks of work if you work 40 hour work weeks. I mean, that's insane time. But I don't wanna get too much into productivity and time management and all that in this video because this video is mainly about sleep and how many hours you specifically need. So hopefully you learn something new and hopefully you're not gonna be stuck in that never ending cycle of I need my eight hours of sleep tonight. But if you did learn something new, definitely hit that like button, subscribe to see some more videos like this. Also comment down below, I want you to comment down below how many hours of sleep you get a night and I guess if you're comfortable with it, how old you are because I love seeing the data and seeing how different I am in comparison to other people. So comment down below how many hours of sleep you get a night. Me personally, I get about seven, eight hours depending on my day, depending on my next day. It all kind of varies, but I'd say about seven, eight hours. But again, it is around the call video. Hopefully you did learn something new. Again, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video.